driving test tell me questions. The examiner will ask you one tell me question at the start of the driving test, where you'd have to explain how you'd carry out a safety task. You won't fail your driving test if you get any of the questions wrong but you would get one driving fault if you incorrectly answer one of the questions. Open the bonnet and tell me how you'd check that you have a safe level of hydraulic brake fluid. Identify reservoir, check level against high and low markings. Open the bonnet and tell me how you'd check that the engine has sufficient engine coolant. Identify high and low level markings on header tank where fitted or radiator filler cap, and describe how to top up to correct level. Open the bonnet and tell me how you'd check that the engine has sufficient oil. Identify dipstick oil level indicator, describe check of oil level against the minimum and maximum markers. Tell me how you'd know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system. Warning light should illuminate if there is a fault with the anti-lock braking system. Tell me how you'd check the brake lights are working on this car. Explain you'd operate the brake pedal, make use of reflections in windows or doors, or ask someone to help. Tell me how you'd check that the brakes are working before starting a journey. Brakes should not feel spongy or slack. Brakes should be tested as you set off. Vehicle should not pull to one side. Tell me how you switch your headlight from dip to main beam and explain how you'd know the main beam is on. Operate switch, with ignition or engine on if necessary, check with main beam warning light. Tell me how you make sure your head restraint is correctly adjusted so it provides the best protection in the event of a crash. The head restraint should be adjusted so the rigid part of the head restraint is at least as high as the eye or top of the ears, and as close to the back of the head as is comfortable. Note, some restraints might not be adjustable. Tell me how you'd check that the headlights and tail lights are working. You don't need to exit the vehicle. Explain you'd operate the switch, turn on ignition if necessary, then walk round vehicle, as this is a tell me question, you don't need to physically check the lights. Tell me how you'd check the direction indicators are working. Explain you'd operate the switch, turn on ignition if necessary, and then walk round vehicle. Tell me how you'd check the power-assisted steering is working before starting a journey. If the steering becomes heavy, the system may not be working properly. Before starting a journey, two simple checks can be made. Gentle pressure on the steering wheel maintained while the engine is started, should result in a slight but noticeable movement as the system begins to operate. Alternatively turning the steering wheel just after moving off will give an immediate indication that the power assistance is functioning. Tell me how you'd switch on the rear fog lights and explain when you'd use it them. Operate switch, turn on dipped headlights and ignition if necessary. Check warning light is on. Explain use if visibility is below 100M. Tell me where you'd find the information for the recommended tire pressures for this car, and how tire pressures should be checked. Manufacturer's guide, use a reliable pressure gauge, check and adjust pressures when tires are cold, don't forget spare tire, remember to refit valve caps. Tell me how you'd check the tires to ensure that they have sufficient tread depth and that their general condition is safe to use on the road. No cuts and bulges, 1.6 mm of tread depth across the central three-quarters of the breadth of the tire, and around the entire outer circumference of the tire.